Hello and welcome, this is Jennifer McGuire. For the past couple months, I've been experimenting with a product and I found that I really enjoy using it. So I thought I'd do a video to show you about it also. The product I'm talking about is the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. I have done many videos showing many different ways to add color to your projects, but I have to say that there hasn't really been a product quite like these. These are very unique, and so I thought I'd go ahead and do a video or two on them. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about these real brush pens, give you just an intro to them, and then after this, I'll have a second video where I'm going to show six different ways you can use the pens to get a variety of looks. And please keep in mind that these videos are just meant to introduce these markers so you can decide if it's something that you would be interested in looking into. There are so many different coloring mediums out there, you just have to decide what you think would work best for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at these pens. Now there are 80 different colors in the collection and there are packs ranging from like a four pack all the way up to a 60 pack. Now I started with the 12 pack, Zig sent me those to try. I liked them so much that that same day I went out and I bought that 48 set. So there is a 60 set, I couldn't get my hands on it at the time. There isn't a set that buys all 80. So some of them you'll have to buy individually, but all the colors are available individually. If you're looking for a smaller set that is good to start with, this 12 set is pretty good. It's got a good variety of colors. But if you want to pick individual colors, I'll have a closer look at most of them over on my blog. I have been very happy with the 48 set. Now I will say it is a bit of an investment, but this is something that I have been using quite a bit and am getting my money's worth. I take this box with me when I travel or when I go to a baseball game so that I can do coloring on the go. I like that you can use the pens with or without water, which we'll talk about soon. On the side of each marker, there is a color number and name, so if you want to do a chart, you can have that to keep track of. Now, what is really unique about these pens is it actually has a brush tip. It actually has bristles, so you can kind of see the bristles here. I haven't really used many things that are like this, so it is actually a brush pen. So it's filled with a water-based ink, and it comes out nicely, not too runny, not too dry. It just seems to be perfect. I really like that the bristles are to a fine point, so you can do a fine stroke or you can do a broad stroke, which you see here. These are really fun if you're good at hand lettering. I just happen to not be so great at it. However, I do like that it has the details, so you can get into small areas. Now before we start using these pens, I wanted to give you one little tip about the colors. Now you could create your own little ink swatch of all the different colors as you can see that I've done here and I'll share photos of this on my blog. But another thing that I found very helpful is I created a tiny little ink swatch to glue onto the actual pen cap so that when I open up my box I can quickly grab the color that I want. So what I did is I colored the marker onto some watercolor paper with a little bit of water and then once it was dry, I used a little hole punch to punch tiny little circles of each color. And then I used a strong liquid adhesive to glue those tiny little swatches onto the top of my pen caps. This has really helped me in quickly grabbing the colors that I want. And that way I don't have to carry an ink swatch around with me. I have found this to be very helpful. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about how these pens work. Remember, in the second video, I'm going to show you six different ways to use these pens to color these birds, so be sure to check that out. But I wanted to give you a quick intro here. One thing is very important. I find that these pens work best on watercolor paper, no matter what method you use. So I always use watercolor paper. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Here I'm just putting down a red color, and then I'm going to blend it with an orange color just by overlapping and then kind of spreading it out. So you do not need water to blend with these. Now some colors, of course, blend better than others, but there are ways to get a good blending. Now you want to kind of blend while the, the ink is still kind of wet on the paper. The watercolor paper helps in the blending, but it really looks beautiful when you do it. Now these two colors you can see didn't blend quite as well, but here's the trick you can do. Because this is a brush tip, you can touch tip to tip without damaging the tip, and you can pick up a little bit of the darker color on your lighter color marker to get it to blend nicely. So now you just kind of go back over it and check out the nice blending that you get. In those last two examples, I did not use water to blend, and they blended great, but I wanted to show you how wonderfully they blend with water. I'm using a water brush, I put two colors right next to each other, and you just overlap the two and you can see the beautiful easy blend that you get. 
You can use more water with it if you want more of a watercolor look, but I like how easy it is to control and blend by using very little water. I also wanted to show you that with water you can uh, create your own colors. So here I put lime green with some blue right on top of it. And you just take some water to it and you can see the nice teal color that I get as a result. So you can have just a few of these markers, but by blending them together or overlapping them you can create new colors. Here I'm using red with a blue on top and I can create a beautiful plum color. You can also mix colors on a palette. So I have an acrylic block here and I'm just going to scribble some of the red and the blue, the same colors I just overlapped, onto the block. And then I'm going to use my water brush to mix them together to create a purple color. I really like how the ink comes out a little bit more wet than a typical marker so that you have the time to blend but it's really something that you can control. So if you struggle with watercolor, these brushes are really easy to control. Now, in addition to the vibrant colors, these pens are available in very pale colors, which I think is huge. I really like the look of soft watercolor, soft watercolor backgrounds, but I find that with most watercolors, you have to add a ton of water to get a soft color. Well, these colors are so light that you really don't need to add the water at all or just add a little bit to get the soft look. This has really been a big plus for me because I have a hard time when I have to do watercolor with a lot of water. So I really like that. Over on my blog, I have ink swatches for the 48 colors that come in that 48 pack. When I get the other colors, I'll be sure to add those. As I mentioned, you can get these pens individually. So if you just wanted to try them out, you could pick a few colors that you think you might like and work with those and do some blending with those. I promise you don't need a large pack. You do not need the 48 pens in order to really have fun with these. A few really go a long way. And if you're one of those who likes to be busy on the go, this is great for you because you can grab the pack, a water pen, and some pre-stamped images on watercolor paper, and you can take this with you wherever. Remember to also check out my second video where I show six different ways to use these pens. I think you'll be amazed that from this one product, you can get the look of a bold Copic colored image or the look of a soft water colored image, all from that one product. If you want to check out anything I talked about in this video, I have links below in my YouTube description. Or you can head over to my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com where I'll have photos of all those ink swatches and much more information. Thanks for stopping by.